Hi, I'm Paul Chen, owner of Your Accounting Staff. We specialize in accounting and tax services for small businesses. Congratulations, your being here demonstrates your business wisdom. You know that a vital component to business success is knowing and improving your company finances. This video, plus others like it, and our free ebook on small business accounting and bookkeeping tips with QuickBooks will help you accomplish this. Be sure to visit VenturaQuickBooks.com where you can download your free ebook, plus get help with QuickBooks and improving your company finances. This video covers the most essential feature of any accounting system, the chart of accounts. When you create your company in QuickBooks using the Easy Step interview, it automatically creates a chart of accounts for you. This chart of accounts is not an absolutely complete chart of accounts. It has most of the accounts that you need. However, you will need to enter some additional accounts. There are a couple of ways of doing this. One way to do that is to create the account on the fly. What that means is when you're entering a transaction, for example, writing a check, you just click on this down arrow and you put in an account. I'll just say some account. I press enter. It says some account is not on the account list you want to set up. You go ahead and click on set up and it allows you to set up accounts in the chart of accounts. And we'll come and look at this in just a minute. The other way to create an account in the chart of accounts is to go into chart of accounts and this is the chart of accounts that is created. It has all of those accounts and it has the type. Type is very important and we'll show you that and it has the balance of all of the balance sheet accounts. It doesn't display the balance of the profit and loss accounts but it does display the balance of all the balance sheet accounts. What this lightning bolt means is that we have set up online banking or any kind of online transaction. That's what that lightning bolt means. You can see that every single one of these accounts has a type listed with it. It's very important to have that type because when you create an account in the chart of accounts, it must be one of those types. You can't create your own types. It has to be one of those types. Each one of them is created, handled, and used differently by QuickBooks. If I go into create an account, I click on account and select new. And it gives me these choices, these types, plus it also gives me other account types down here. Each one of them is created differently. Each one of them is handled differently. We have income type account and one thing that's really neat about these later versions of QuickBooks is when you go select one of these types. For example, I go into income. It gives me an explanation of what that is, what an income account is. And then if I want more detail, I can just click on more. And when I click on that more button, it brings up in the help explanation, additional explanation of what this income account in this case is. The accounts set up in your chart of accounts will by default be listed in balance sheet and profit and loss order. So you have the type here and it has the bank accounts, accounts receivable, other current assets. This is the order that our balance sheet is listed in. And then further down on the bottom, we have our income, cost of goods sold, expenses, and those are in profit and loss order. You can change that order by clicking on the heading on this chart of accounts and change it, for example, sort it by name. But in most cases, it's much more usable to click that in type order. So I'll put that in type order. When I want to create a new account, I go into account and new. Let's just go ahead and just start out by creating a bank account. And again, you can look at these explanations of which ones you want to use if you need some help with that. Go ahead and click on continue and then it has the bank account. You put in an account name. You just type in an account name. So you want to make sure that you select the correct type of account when you create accounts in the chart of accounts. Entering open balance. When you first create a brand new account, there's an option to enter an opening balance. And then you can put in, as it says here, it's optional to put in a description of what that account is. In this case, a bank account number, a routing number and a tax line mapping. This is used to tell your accountant where you are going to transfer these accounts into the income tax returns if you're going to ex export that information into your income tax returns. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you get your copy of the ebook, 
Small Business Accounting and Bookkeeping Tips with QuickBooks. It's free and it contains 10 chapters covering how to plan for the future, how to control your most important asset, cash, and how to save time using QuickBooks. Just go to VenturaQuickBooks.com. Thanks. I appreciate your time and your wisdom.